Let's focus on the Congress now. And senior Congress leader Shashi Tharoor, uh, according to reports, is exploring the possibility of running for the post of Congress president. Though he's yet to take a final call, is what sources have said. Uh, they said he's not made up his mind, but could take a call on this soon. And he, though Mr. Tharoor has declined to comment, he had written an article for Malayalam Daily, a Matra Bhumi, calling for a free and fair election. In that article, he also said, ideally, the party should have announced elections for the dozen seats on the Congress Working Committee itself. I, I, I have absolutely, I have no on comment to make. Also, there are a lot of leaders resigning, senior leaders are resigning. How do you react to it? I have no comment to make. I accept what I have written in my article. Huh. which is that elections will be a good thing for the Congress party. That's oh, all. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go across to Sunil Prabhu now for more. So Sunil Shashi Tharoor, they're claiming this is just an article that he wrote uh, you know, in, in a Kerala newspaper regarding uh, the, uh, the fact that it should be fair and free elections and CWC itself should have had elections. But this has really set uh, you know, a lot of speculation taking place about whether Shashi Tharoor is going to be throwing his hat into the ring. Well, uh, two things first, uh, Gargi. For those who know the Constitution, first there has to be an election for the Congress president. And then, of course, uh, for uh, the working committee. And it's in that context uh, that, uh, you know, Mr. Sashi Tharoor is saying that the more candidates, the, the better it will be good to help to vitalize the party. And I think everybody is in agreement in that because uh, from the uh, Congress podium, they have been saying very categorically uh, that the field is open and everybody is uh, permitted to con contest anybody among those 9,000. Uh, candidates have to be uh, are eligible to uh, file their nomination. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, if there is still no indication from uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi whether he's going to contest or not. He's already made his intention clear uh, to the CWC in a letter as well as to Congress workers that he is not interested and which we have consistently on NDTV from the day uh, he resigned has made it clear that he will not uh, be uh, contesting as Congress president. Uh, this has been reiterated on our channel continuously, uh, not once, but a, a number of times in the last four or five years. Having said that, uh, the CWC election takes place after the Congress president election takes place. There's a plenary that is called, and during that plenary, the uh, working committee, so Mr. Sachi Tharoor, of course, is new to the Congress, uh, hasn't really seen an election taking place. Uh, we have seen, of course, uh, the Congress party contest and have an election uh, way back in 1998, 99, uh, in, the, in, the in the city of Calcutta, uh, when there was... Uh, uh, an election that took place for the Congress Working Committee. Uh, prior to that, uh, Mr. Sitaram Kesri, Mr. Sharad Pawar, as well as uh, Mr. Rajesh Pilot were contestants. Subsequently, when Sonia Gandhi also uh, contested and stood for election as Congress President in 2000, it was against Mr. Jitain Prasada, though there was really no much, much of a contest at that time. Uh, so definitely the field is wide open. Uh, it's going to definitely help revitalize the party because if there is a non-Gandhi who's going to contest, uh, then why not allow... Uh, more people on the fray and help in a party democracy uh, to take place, uh, even though there might be uh, people like Mr. Gulab Nabi Azad and a host of other Congress leaders who have left the party in the recent times.